Hello everyone, my name is MJ Vilchess, and welcome to the, the Underland Chronicles or Challenge. <laughs> and yeah, this is the first day of March, so I think I'm just gonna go and immediately start right away with uh, this month's entry for the challenge. And for this month, we are going to be working on uh, chapters 5 to 6 of the book Gregor and the Prophecy of Bang, since I'm doing the book 2 of this uh, art challenge. So, uh, for this year, because I did uh, the first book last year. So, yep, yeah, uh, before anything else, this stream will have some spoilers of. Uh, the book Gregor and the Prophecy of Bane by Suzanne Collins. It's a book two of the Underland Chronicles, uh, a series of books that uh, Suzanne Collins wrote before the Hunger Games. And it's just one of, uh, if it isn't obvious, uh, it's one of my favorite books. It's a book series that uh, got me into storytelling. And uh, like years ago, I started this Underland, uh, the Underland project where I'm aiming to create 3D animations uh, based on. Uh, a few events, uh, short, some short events from the book, and this challenge I started uh, just to tell the followers of that project that I'm still working on uh, the Underland project, and right, right now I am still working on it. I'm actually on the rendering phase of uh, the Underland project, episode one, which uh, doesn't exactly uh, only indicate like the f the short film that I'm doing, but the whole thing that I'm doing to create the short film, all the creation process videos, and all the making of. Uh, videos and even the doodle log just go to my uh, YouTube channel uh, Doodle notes productions just search for it on uh, uh, On YouTube that should immediately take you to my content and yeah uh, I'm doing this challenge to practice also in filmmaking and Hopefully uh, by th this year. I'm gonna be done because I'm on already on the rendering stage Um. It's taking a long time to render because uh, I'm doing it on the laptop, but yeah, I'm really aiming to finish it this year. Yeah, right now though, you're going to be working on the entry for the Underland Chronicles Art Challenge. And uh, I'm probably going to end up making another comic cinematic, we'll see. But first, I'm going to be reading chapters, what was it, chapters 5 to 6 in C. We're going to pick a scene from the book, from that, from those chapters, what we're going to be making an art on. I'm probably gonna do like a comic cinematic because it's fun to like ask uh, some of my collaborators to do some voice acting. I mean I could do it myself but I want to give the uh, uh, learning, the, I want to give the chance to like have that learning experience to some of the guys that decided to join me in this endeavor. So yeah let's go to chapter 5 to 6. Chapters 5 to 6 and read what happened there. Also Scared Flyer, welcome to the stream. Uh, video. What? 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 Video will be what? What are you? What are you talking about, scared flyer? There's like a bunch of videos. So you're talking about the videos regarding TUCR challenge, or because you know, there's a whole a bunch of stuff that I make and a bunch of videos that I make are tutorials, this live stream videos, and then so it is the art the art challenge. Okay. Or the Underland Project. Anyways, chapter five. Go, Gigo. Boots told Tam, tapping her heels. Oh, oh, this is when Gregor is already in the palace in Regalia. Rat, very bad. At the moment, Luxa appeared in the doorway. Hey, Luxa, how are you doing? So, could you just, I don't know, maybe you could put them in a museum or something? That's when Gregor, like, didn't want his clothes to be burned. Chapter 6. Next morning, Gregor was exhaust exhausted and in a bad mood. Another underlander he'd never met served him breakfast. Oh, please make it in ch It's gotta be in chapter 6. It's gotta be in chapter 6. The rager moment. Yes, it is. Looks like we're doing it. We're doing the rager moment. Looks like that's what we're doing. Yep, it is here. Chapter 6. Gregor took his place between the cannons. He held his sword out in front of him, like he'd seen the Underlanders do. If, because uh, in the book, there's this cannon practice that they do where uh, can, a cannon will shoot like uh, 12, was it 15? I think it's 15. 15 blood balls 
or balls that are like red filled with like red paint or something and they have to hit it that's for the practice like handling sword and Gregor took his place between the cannons he held his sword out in front of him like he'd seen the underlanders do he felt that slightly anxious slightly excited feeling he had when it was his turn to bat in baseball he heard Marith give the order to fire and then a strange thing happened as the first ball left the cannon in front of him the arena, the Underlanders, almost everything around him seemed to mute and grow indistinct. He was aware only of the blood balls flying toward him from all directions. His arm was moving. He could hear his blade making a whistling sound. Something splattered against his face and then it was over. His surroundings came back into focus. First the walls of the arena, then the shock faces of the Underlanders. He could feel liquid dripping off his face and hands. The pounding of his heart was audible. He looked down at the ground. At his feet lay the oozing shells of 15 balls. So yeah, Gregor managed to hit all 15 balls in that cannon practice. That was his first rager moment. And yeah, Scared Flyer. Better send that uh, artwork for last month. <laughs> Soon. And yeah, I did make an artwork for the cannon practice. But it's not really like... Yeah, I did make that. But... I want to make like a proper one, like kind of like the same art style that I've been doing for the other comic cinematic. And yeah, we're going to be doing another comic cinematic for uh, this month. And it's going to be Gregor holding a sword. And the 15 Blood Bowls are like coming at him. It's probably going to be great. So yeah, for this one. Hmm. Yeah, right, right now for part one. We're just going to be doing some conceptualizing and sketch. And since we've already picked like a part in chapter 6. What we're going to uh, draw or make a comic cinematic of. We're just going to go straight into Blender right now. And start working. So yeah. Let's do that. Uh, for this we need to be in a 2D animation work, uh, wor workspace. So I'm going to go just... Like you know, like in Blender, this is like a, when I, when you open Blender, you'll be greeted uh, like this. And we're using Blender 2.92 or 2.92, and we can click like 2D animation here to go to to, to the 2D animation uh, workspace, or we can go to File, New, 2D animation. Both does the same thing. So yeah, better better keep that promise, scared flyer. Anyways. We are going to start drawing now. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to world. I'm going to set the color to a grayish tint so you can see the screencast that I have like right here. So yeah, now we're going to do some sketching. So we're just going to go to the outliner like up here. I'm going to rename this stroke object that we already have after selecting the 2D animation workflow. I'm just going to name that sketch. And I'm going to start doing some sketches for our uh, artwork. And it looks like I did not plug in my tablet, which means I have to close Blender again. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna have to close Blender Control. I'm gonna save this first. Do those projects. The underlying project. Blender projects. Artworks. I'm gonna create a new folder and name this. Uh, hmm. What? Ah, I guess I'm gonna go with something simple and just call it Rager. The Rager. The Rager. Hmm. Should it be Gregor the Rager? Gregor the Rager. Ah, I'm just gonna go with Gregor the Rager for now. Kind of like, you know, since the title of the books are always Gregor the, Gregor the. We're also going to do Gregor the Rager for this one. So, I'm going to save this. I'm going to close it just to restart it so that the tablet will work properly. Now, open Blender again. Best thing about Blender is that you can easily close and open it. Especially when you didn't put anything on your scene yet. Unlike any other programs, I think. That is 3D. Blender is just so easy to open and close. Despite my laptop not being that powerful. 
it's definitely way faster on you know faster PC too. And that's yeah, that's the best thing about Blender. So yeah, now let's start doing some sketches. And I'm just gonna name this layer sketch. I'm gonna name it like that. Sketch. We're selecting pencil. And the material is already set up because we've selected the uh, the 2D animation workspace or 2D animation project template. And it already set up some basic stuff for us, like the camera, the uh, the grease pencil object where we're gonna be uh, drawing stuff in kind of like a 2D, but this is a 3D workspace or uh, interface or whatever is the term for that. And right now we're gonna do some sketches. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw like a sketch of Gregor right here. Just some rough shapes for now. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with him holding the sword with one hand or holding it with two hands. Probably two hands. So I'm just gonna move this. Another best thing about the Blender Grease Pencil is uh, I can move lines like this anywhere. Yeah, you should. Not just. Uh, I think by learning Scary Flyer, you mean like actually doing it and using it. There's a lot of stuff you need to do, man. Gotta stop procrastinating, man. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna draw Gregor holding a sword here. Okay, I'm gonna erase that for now. So when you're holding a sword and you're right-handed, the right hand should be like on top of your left hand. So like that, and the left hand is right here. And Greg is like standing like that. I'm going over, I'm going like So the sword right here. I'm going uh, like off camera here because this is a comic cinematic and we never know how far we're going to be zooming out or zooming in. So it's best to have like more room to do that. So we're going to be drawing like parts that it's probably not going to be visible but still we're going to draw it anyway. Gregor's sword right there. So this is just going to be a simple artwork where we're going to be zooming out from Gregor's face. And then we're gonna reveal all of the cannonballs like firing like going towards him so it's going to be like parallaxing because these balls are gonna be separated in 3d space one would be like closer right here it should be 15 of these balls like just coming towards him and then there's going to be a cannon like way off here It's going to be like a small cannon firing the uh, these, these balls. So, and that's it. That's just it for the sketch part, actually. Let's just kind of properly draw the head here. Hmm, I could probably do this in 3D. I'm not sure. Probably not. It takes so much time and I can't properly stream it. Because the laptop can't handle 3D. The 3D parts. Because uh, the scene gets heavier and heavier. The more stuff we add on it. And it, you know, but my laptop can barely handle or handle that. And won't def I mean, won't, will not be able to stream that properly. Just gonna go do something like that, I guess. And that's it for like our first sketch, sketch one. I'm gonna put that under this one and I'm gonna name this other one sketch two. And yeah, this stream will not be will not probably be that long. We're just gonna do like a quick sketch of the artwork, and that's gonna be it for part one. 
So simple artwork so that we don't have to do too much. And I actually have more time working on the actual project. So now I probably need to like edit some parts of the sketch sketch one here like this cross on the face there. Gregor needs to have like a Gregor will be like really focused around this part. Now what would be his face when he's in a rager mode? I think his pupils will be dilated. Or it's gonna like that he's gonna have like that kind of crazy look on his face maybe. Like it's just a dead face. Or maybe like a poker face or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we can do here. So that's sketch one. I'm gonna lock that again. I'm gonna set the opacity a bit lower. So that our sketch two, which will be the more detailed version of the sketch, is more visible. Like so. So Gregor, at this point, is still... 11 years old because he turned 12 on book 3 like when they're still like they're doing that journey to through the vineyard of ice I mean through the uh, not really vineyard of ice but in the, the little jungle yeah through the jungle they're going to the vineyard of ice through the jungle. And his neck shouldn't be too thick or too, too you know, too fat or too big because you gotta have like an 11 year old kid's neck here. So just we draw an ear right here. I'm not that great in doing some of this stuff. So Gregor would be wearing something that mm, usual underlanders would be wearing for like training. Because he's just borrowing clothes from them when he's under. And I'm going to copy like the hair that I did for the uh, 3D version of him. Which I should be familiar with now, since I keep looking at it. it should look like this, I think, in, in 3D. I could like position his 3D model here and use that as a reference. But nah, let's just draw. That could be one like way of also doing it. Like, make use of the 3D model as a reference. But the 3D model of Gregor is something that I actually want to fix. But I don't want to fix it anymore because we're I'm so deep into production of episode 1 already. That I can't make any changes until I start episode 2. Or 5. We'll see what happens for the Underland project. If you guys are familiar with it. Then you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but if not, just, you know... Get head over to my YouTube channel. There's a video that I did explaining what the project is. Shouldn't be too boring, that video. But, uh, you know. Yeah, it's probably not that boring. No, it's not boring. It's I did make that video more awesome than the rest of the videos that I did. Should be Doodlelogs002, The Underland Project. That one is like the most recent and most and like the better explanation that I did of the project. I think he's going to have like a wide-eyed look on him. Going to have like a wide-eyed look on him. It's gonna be like a wide-eyed look.
So I'm not sure how a rager would look actually. Will he look angry or just emotionless? Probably go with emotionless for uh, Gregor's rager. Rage mode. Mm, to properly draw the nose here. I'm gonna be changing a lot on like the inking version of this, most definitely. Probably just gonna go with something like this. And I think his nose is pretty low right there. Best thing about this, so you can just move it around. And there we go. Just do this. I think Underlander clothing would be kind of like v-neck and it would have like sleeves. I mean, colors like this. And it's going to be made in a material that is not cloth, but made of like a spider's web. But not sticky because uh as mentioned many times in previous like tcr challenge videos the underlanders like trading with the giant spiders in underland and it, it's the giant spiders that makes uh their clothes and other garments so i've decided that their clothing looks kind of like this or at least this is like my rough design of it. It's going to be changing once I start actually working on like Underlander artworks. Or artworks that require me to draw Underlanders. Excuse me. And then just do something like this. Sword hilt. So he's using like a generic sword made for training. So I'm just gonna go with like a generic sword. And the fingers right here for the left hand. And the handle of the sword. Sword hilt. And we go like this. I'm probably gonna uh, rotate the sword slightly towards the camera once I'm done drawing it. So that there's like parallax of it. And scared flyer. I'm guessing that the one whose phone died is yours. Because <laughs> you've been gone. A while. Yeah. Just gonna go draw this here. And then Underlander leggings. Or whatever they're called. It's always the terms that's like. I have like a huge struggle with term terminologies and other jargons. So, uh, pardon me if I, uh, always say whatever it's called. So I'm always reluctant to just settle with a term that may be wrong for it. Yeah, there we go. Probably don't have to draw too much of the leg. We shall see, and there's definitely... A whole lot of shrinking for the leg ha that should happen here. Because that's just too big. I don't care if uh, we're going to mess things up here. Since it's just a sketch. There we go. Just some quick sketches. 
Just enough for us to have thumbnails. <laughs> and there's the sword, generic sword. And we can go add the blood balls. For the blood balls, I can actually just actually let me just draw it. Instead of like I can do actually something like this. For the blood balls. But uh it's best to just draw it for sketch for now. There's going to be a whole lot of blood balls coming at him. And the cannon will be somewhere right here. And this cannon will still going to be moved later, depending on how the animations will work. There's actually a whole lot that I changed for the uh, the previous artwork, Hide and Seek, before uh, releasing it. But yeah, we have Gregor here. I'm also going to be drawing parts of the background. It's just sketching it. The arena right here. It's gotta be like a huge cave here with like a passage with all of the moths on it. And then the arena behind him, like the bleachers. So that's gonna be fun to draw. And then just darkness of caverns behind. Darkness of the cave of the the wall cave the cave of the the wall of the cave not the cave of the wall <laughs> So you have this rocks fire lights on each of the uh like it's going to be like a something like this like a post for the bleachers and there's gonna be light on here so those are gonna be those are gonna be light sources and then we are going to uh have that uh, grass or moss and uh, I think we're good here well it looks like I delete the, 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 the nose for some reason because the nose is gone right here did I control Z it off his face see I think we're good here for the sketch uh, not too long of a stream it gets too boring when it gets too long to if they like just stream tedious stuff but yeah i think that's all for now we have our sketch here there's gregor looking all uh ragery that doesn't look ragery probably need to make this smaller yeah it's gonna help a lot Making that smaller. It should be looking on one of the blood balls. Wait, I'm select. Yep, I also moved other stuff here. So just gonna grab both of these and drag, I guess. And I think that's Gregor's Rager look. I'm just gonna make his face. I can zoom most of his face here. And just move it around. And there we have Gregor. So, something like that. Hopefully, the stream is still fine. It's green here in OBS, so I think it's fine. And hopefully, it doesn't cut off again like the previous stream. Like the end of the previous stream would cut off at the end. Not cool, Twitch. But we keep going. I'm probably also gonna stream a gaming stream after this one. We'll see. It's still early. I wanna stream some more. And I'm probably gonna stream another attempt on inside. We'll see. So yeah, for now, this is it. We have Gregor's sketch. About to hit some blood balls perfectly getting them all slicing them ha in half and I actually made like a, a chibi animation of this which I also made a video of a stream a, a creation process and you know just check out my YouTube channel doodle notes the doodle boat actually this time my second channel where I shared some of my stream where I streamed before but now I switched to twitch because uh, I think it's easier and I can easily download the streams after and upload it on we upload it on YouTube and it's all 
going to be published in in the same day unlike before where i have to wait for the processing on the youtube streams before it gets published but anyways that's all uh we've made the sketch we made the plans we picked the scene where gregor is doing the canon practice thing and this is also going to be a comic cinematic and i'm probably gonna do a bunch of comic cinematic for this year's challenge it's probably going to be the thing that i'm really going to be doing so that there's going to be these voices and stuff and sound effects and you know i just enjoy doing some comic cinematics but yeah i think that's all for now uh, thank you so much for watching hopefully i've shared some stuff that is useful to you if you're learning blender and using like the 2d grease pencil uh, feature of it or the 2d animation feature and yeah hopefully i've just you know showed you some stuff that you can actually use for your own artworks so yeah that's all uh thank you so much for watching here on twitch if you're li watching live and watching on youtube if you're watching if you watch up to this point on youtube as well thank you so much uh, just leave in the comments below something like you know blood balls or something just leave it in the comments below if you've reached this point and yeah thanks for watching um a huge thanks to my kofi givers to handsomeness jubin yejinsi eric madrigal to Elizabeth Money, thank you. Know your weather shield. ZQ Star. Tristan Wintle. To M Buddy, of course, or Scared Flyer, thank you so much. And Guillermo Gage. And yeah, if you want to support me and my endeavors, just go to code-free.com slash students productions. That's the fastest way you can support me. I'd easily get, you know, whatever it is you'll give. Which is, you know, Golden Doodle Fuels, which just translates to, you know, if you want to give something to me financially to support me in my endeavors, you can, you, know, you can do so through Kofi, because it's easier there. And yeah, uh, join the Discord server. Enter the world to awesomeness. Join my Discord server. We can hang out there even after the streams are done. Or if you want to, you know, just chat, just go there or share your own stuff, your own artworks. Just go there. Follow the this. I mean. Just Enter or join the Discord server and you'll be able to do that. You can share stuff, advertise your own works. As long as it's, you know, it doesn't uh, violate any community guidelines of Discord and stuff, you're good. Yeah. Uh, let's all follow Doodle Nose Productions everywhere on the internet. Uh, also, the Doodle Boat on YouTube. And yeah, I think that's all. Uh, thank you so much for watching. My name is... MJ Vilches, and yeah, it's the end of the stream. I will probably stream a gaming stream inside. There's no death. Uh, just, bye.